Hey everyone, welcome to another video by Python Pool. In this video, we'll be seeing disassembling of Python program. Because we run most of the Python programs in our daily life, right? But have you ever wondered how they perform? So that's what we're going to see in this video. Like if I run my demo program, it will show me the processes stack takes to load the program and run it. First of all, it will load the global variables, then it calling the function, adding the value, returning the values. That's all which are taking place, which of the processes are taking place in the stack. This program, today's program will be seeing that one. So let's create that file, our test file. And once I co create this file, let's jump to the program. Let me import this function, which is inbuilt function in Python and we'll be using this function for our program. So let me create two functions. Both will take an argument. It will take a number and what it will do, it will return the result. It will return str num plus str num. Let me show num. Okay, and we'll be creating one more function. Let me name it as new func. And it will also accept an argument that is string. But it will not return the result. It will simply print the result like hello. And if we pass world there, it will simply print that string. Okay, and we'll be using this module to call these two functions this this test and this dot this and new function sorry new function once we hit save run our result you see first of all what it does it will load the global variables which is defined in this test that is string and num num is of string type so it will lo load that one and it will call the function then what it will do it will add these two and then it will return the value once again it will jump to this function it will load the variables it will call the function and define the variables there print the variables and it will clear the stack and after clearing the stack it will return the constant value that is zero that is none so it will return that value and once the zero returns our program terminates so i hope you like you are interested in the processes that takes place behind running the program that's it from this video have a great day ahead thank you